Hi, this is Pastor Steve. Uh, we're doing our first devotion um, from the book. Do that right. One year book of Do You Know Devotions for Kids. We're going to read from March 23rd. And the title of it says, What Plant Grows Only After Being Burned by a Fire? The forest fire usually destroys all the plants and trees in its path and prevents regrowth in that area for a while. In South Africa, however, there is a plant called a protea that can grow only if there is a fire. The head of this strange national flower contains the seeds, which can stay tightly sealed in a hard shell for almost 20 years. The shell doesn't open until it's scorched and the fire is over. The light, fluffy seeds are then blown to the ground by the wind where they begin to grow. So what? Well, the Bible tells us when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. That is out of Isaiah 43.2. Isaiah is one of the books in the Old Testament, and that's reading out of the New International Version. Christian people, us, don't have special fire-resistant bodies. What the Bible means is that if you believe in Jesus Christ, the devil cannot take your soul no matter how hard he tries to lead you away from God. You will be able to walk through all the devil's tricks by holding on to Jesus, and your soul will not be touched by evil even though it rages all around you. So we're going to pray, and then I have a challenge for you. It's going to be fun. Jesus, I thank you for this day. I thank you that you are always with us, that there is nowhere that we can go that you are not there. And Jesus, anytime that we need help, we can call, and you are there to help and answer because you are always with us. Thank you, Lord, for that. Be with us this week. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, I have a challenge for you. Here's the challenge. Today or tomorrow, I want you to make your bed all by yourself. Not ask your mom and dad to help. Not asking them to do it for you. I want you to make your bed yourself. Start that as a habit. So uh, this is Pastor Steve. Hope you have a great day. Praying for you. And God bless.